are you ever concerned about how your face looks on video? And there is this popular phrase called resting bitch face, which is, to me, it sounds really mean, but I guess it's very popular and people sometimes use it in jest. And um, I want to thank uh, Dorota for so bravely stepping forward and saying, can you look at my video as an example and it's okay to have it in the recording? Um, am I, is it, is, do I need to look, do I need to put my face differently or uh, is it okay if I don't like how I look in such a video, should I use it in a different way? Because Dorota liked the content of the video, but didn't, you know, I was having some, some self-judgments as we all do about how she looked to herself. So um, let's take a look. And thank you again, Dorota, for, for sharing with you. I will put the link to the video below for those of you who actually want to, to access the video yourself. Um, and hopefully let's give Dorota some encouragement there, right? So, uh, and and for context, Dorota said that, you know, she had a cold sword that day. And so already it was not her usual self, but still, anyway, let's take a look. So I'm, I'm just putting the, 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 the volume down because we, we're just looking at, you know, you know uh, she's, she said, George, please judge me harshly. No, I'm kidding. So <laughs> she just wanted us to, to look at this. Um, and Dorota said, oh, I felt like my, my lighting was too dim or I looked a little bit down or depressed or just not sort of American chipper. <laughs> you might say Dorota's not American. So of course that's completely acceptable. Um, but what do you all think? You know, you can comment below. And and Georgia says, please be honest, right? Please be honest. Um, obviously, I think all of us here in this community would tend to be very supportive and say, no, it's not you. It's it's the American fakeness and niceness and and sort of Instagram influencer like, you know, that kind of feel. And you don't have to be like that. You want to be authentic. And <clears throat> I think that that advice is is perfectly reasonable and true. Um, and on the other hand, do we have any constructive feedback for Dorota to, to experiment with um, while maintaining and expressing her authentic personality and style, which is very important? So first of all, <clears throat> um, I have to say we all have different personas within us. We all express differently depending on the time of day depending on the topic we're speaking of, de depending on the audience we're speaking to. So, for example, I have, and I'll, I'll stop the screen share at this point. I have, um, you probably, you can comment below. Do you see I have different, different personas that I use on video? Do you notice them? Um, I would be curious to know because <laughs> you could probably give me what, what you think my different personas are because I think I do. Um, I, right now, I have a persona of someone who has injured their tongue just two days ago, so I'm speaking a little bit differently than, than usual. Uh, <laughs> but what do you think my personas are? Um, I know for sure I have at least two personas. I have the, um, um, well, I have the, 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 the you know, the, tech training persona it's like what well, go ahead and click here and you now you click here maybe the 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 heart-based tech trainer you know tech trainer and then i have the spiritual teacher persona where i'm talking about authentic expression and how it's joyful productivity and how it's really about practice and maybe that's like one there's like spiritual teacher persona and i have like the martial art you know martial art art teacher persona of like more like discipline master but kind of Zen discipline master persona. And then I have the motivational persona where I'm yelling at you about stop effing using funnels, people, and let's do authentic content on a consistent basis persona, right? So I have these different personalities that I that I use depending on what feels right for the topic, typically for the topic. Because I'm typically only looking at one person in my mind, in my heart, but I sometimes yell at that person, <laughs> yell at that client. I, I secretly yell at you, clients, dear clients, but I don't like to yell at you in person, like one-to-one, -one, so I yell at you on video. Have you noticed that? That's <laughs> So when you see me yelling at you on video, you're, I'm talking to you, by the way, okay? so But sorry, sorry, and thank you, and you're welcome, right? Um, same thing with the spiritual person. Anyway, 
Back to Dorota, though. Um, I think that Dorota may have, and Dorota, given that Dorota is literally here right now, uh, you can unmute and speak to us if you want to, or you can chat below. But Dorota probably has different personas too. Like you probably, when you're talking, I don't know what the topic was. Let me let me let me look. Let's look at the topic again. When you are not lazy, when struggling with with productivity as a as a sensitive solopreneur, how gentleness can be more informed about the causes. Okay, so we're talking about, um, we're talking to somebody who might be beating themselves up, right? About not working hard enough, right? And so what kind of persona is appropriate for that situation? Well, it depends on who you are. Because look, if you are complete opposite, let's say you're Gary Vaynerchuk, who's like a motivational speaker, who's, who's like basically popularized hustle, hustle and grind, then he would yell at you for being lazy, right? Or whatever, I don't know what he would say, I'm probably misinterpreting his, his words. But Dorota wouldn't, would take a totally different take. And maybe the persona would match that as a more nurturing and quiet persona that is easier to accept for that person who is beating themselves up. Now, every persona we use obviously can be improved, right? Um, and so now I want to talk a little bit about acting. Because I think being skillful on video is being a skillful actor. I don't have any acting background, but then again, I have tons of acting background because I've made over a thousand videos and I've had to learn to modify my face because this is not my face when I work. When I'm working, I'm like this. Actually, I try to put a little bit of smile on my face. So it's a little bit resting Zen bitch face smile. A smile from the heart, bitch face. So, um, but when we're on video, we have a spectrum with which we can act. And by act, I mean act, not take action, but I mean pretend. Fake it till you make it kind of acting. Is that right? Is that wrong? I don't know. I genuinely don't. Because sometimes we act in service to the audience, which is what all actors do, obviously. And sometimes we act in trying to manipulate an audience, which I know none of you are doing, and Dorota definitely doesn't do, but which is what some marketers do, and maybe some Instagram influencers are acting fake, even though it's not part of the grounded experience. So when I act, I still speak from grounded experience, but I'm merely trying to be more pleasant. That's, I guess, maybe that's what I'm trying to say. I try to be more pleasant looking and pleasant sounding than, well, guess what? When you're, I was going to say then when I'm talking to a friend, but actually when I'm talking to friends, when you're talking to a friend, you act too. You just don't perceive that you're acting. You think you're being authentic, but that's also a front. <laughs> the irony is even authenticity is a front. You're right. Even authenticity is a role that you play. So what do we do then? Well, for me, I approach it, say, I speak, I try to speak from grounded experience. I try to speak with compassion. And from, from that perspective, I try to be pleasant or appropriate for the audience. And so there is this fine line between appropriateness and fakery. I don't know what the fine line is. I'm still, I'm still I think, forever going to be playing with that fine line. And I encourage you to play with that as well. So with that, go ahead and comment below, especially Dorota, if you, if you, if you, if you like to, um, was that helpful? And what, what, how will you approach your video presence and persona? And one more thing I want to say is for those who, who say, no, I don't want to act at all. I want to just show up. George, I thought you were all about being authentic. I was wrong. 
I thought you just want us to just show up, turn on the camera, be completely true to the moment and just be like that. Guess what? I welcome that too. I just suggest philosophically and psychologically, even being solely authentic is actually a role subconsciously you're playing. You don't realize it. That's my, that's my, that's my understanding, but it doesn't matter. You can still show up completely authentic on camera. I mean, just recording is, I mean, unless someone was recording and you didn't know it, I think that's true candidness is when you don't know you're being recorded, right? But when you're recording yourself, there's always just a little bit of even subconscious acting going on, even with total authenticity, supposedly. Um, and But still, if you want to be completely authentic, whatever your resting bitch face is, you can still build an audience. You can. But either, either the resting bitch face <laughs> is pleasant, enough for enough people that your audience actually builds rather quickly or on the other hand your your normal authentic whatever you mean by that face isn't as pleasant to that many people but you show up regularly consistently for years and you do build you do build an audience albeit slower it's up to you um again of course fakery in a certain very pleasant way, as we all know, more handsome people, more beautiful people build an audience much faster than the rest of us. It's the truth. And same thing. You can act your face to be more pleasant and it'll build your audience faster. You have to just ask yourself, where is that fine line between me being in service to the audience and my own exploration and me being fake in a way that I don't respect. So up to you to discover that spectrum of what is right for you.